Greetings and welcome to Order In. It's Sunday and you know what that means? It's time for some good food and to watch Cosmos and Lord of the G Game of Thrones. Today we're having some honey shriatra wings. And believe it or not, this recipe starts with some wings. I got about four pounds of them here, nothing special going on, but they were nice and cheap. Gonna season them up with a little bit of kosher salt and some black pepper and get them mixed around until evenly coated. Next, we need to prepare a large bowl with some cornstarch or potato starch if you can find it. Dredge each one of the pieces evenly, making sure to hit all the nooks and crannies and knocking off the excess. One of the glories of this recipe is when you're done with this, you're done with the prep. Next, we prepare dust hardware. We have a large steel pot with about a half a gallon of peanut oil and a candy thermometer, a wire spider to pull out stuff along with tongs, some racks, and a tray for catching the drippings. Here we have the wings and some extra potato starch for the possible wet wings at the bottom that might need the extra. Once we've got our oil to a respectable 350 degrees, we're going to begin the fry session. Take each one of your pieces and knock off any excess cornstarch or potato starch and lay it into the oil slowly. I was able to fit about eight pieces in my pot without overcrowding it and keeping the same temperature. Uh, your results may vary, but you want to try to keep the temperature somewhere around 350 degrees. Um, this will actually be fry one of two. One of the secrets of this recipe is a double fry. You focus and you level camera a little bit. Have some pride in job. If you don't cook the chicken at the right temperature, there will be problems that will brown. We not cook thoroughly. It will be pink in middle, make people sick. It will make people sick. Yeah, so uh, once the chicken's been in there for almost about 10 minutes or so, you're going to notice the outside starting to blister, but it's not yet starting to brown. That's the perfect time to get them out and onto your drying rack. Once the luscious lovelies are all complete and the oil is returned to the 350 to 375 degree range, do it all over again. It may seem like it's completely unnecessary, but believe me, first bite, you'll know what's up. Dustpan! While the wings are doing their second fry session, this would be a perfect time to whip up that sauce. In a large mixing bowl, we're going to add some honey and some shriatra sauce. Basically, we're going for a 50-50 mix. However much you want to make is up to you. After an additional 12 or 13 minutes in the oil, you're going to be looking at some delicious wings. They're going to be crispy, they're going to be golden, and they're not going to have a single hint of undeliciousness. After letting them drain for a couple of seconds, dunk them in the sauce and get them a swooshin'. You want to give them a nice even coat, you can use a spoon if you have to, or some extra sauce if you want to. All that's left to do is to plate and devour. I guarantee you these are going to be some of the greatest hot wings you've ever had. They pull away from the bone almost like a good rib and they taste, well they just taste fucking fantastic. Make them today and you won't be disappointed. <laughs> Jesus Christ, those are hot and good. Thanks for watching, and remember, why order out when you can hang out and order in?